What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Business. Today, we subscribe to Peacock. Okay. <laughs> uh, oops. I think the worst thing is I haven't been able to tell a single person I know or friend that I just downloaded and subscribed to the Peacock app. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, is that like Grinder or something? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, who? I mean, they didn't think about this at all. I get it. Your your logo is a peacock, but no one. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the app. Basically, I think the only reason it exists is because they can now charge you money to watch The Office instead of having it all on Netflix. That's basically their whole fucking game plan here: The Office and Parks <laughs> and Rec. And then they have a a bunch of other like classic movies, movies that are very good movies, but I own them because they're like fucking 20 years old. They have all the Matrix movies. They have all the Jurassic Park movies. They have a Nick Cage section. <laughs> they have a Nicolas Cage section. Like, that's pretty cool. I just go through and I, I scroll through like, God, this guy's made some terrible fucking movies. <laughs> exactly. And now they're all in one place. <laughs> cool. And I will, I'll give it to them. At least there, there is a, a, um, a free version. There's yeah. a, a free tier, which you don't get a lot of the stuff. You don't get Shrek. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't subscribe with the five bucks, you do not get Shrek. One of the things that I noticed was I was scrolling through, and um, they had House on there. And House is one of my like favorite shows of all time. But they had only up to season eight. Like, season eight was not the last season. Maybe that's on Hulu or something right now. Maybe, maybe it is, and some other yeah. place like owns it. But I was like, well, I guess so. I can watch episodes, <laughs> so I can watch the first eight seasons on here. But then I'll have to subscribe to another app <laughs> in order to get the last season. Like, what the fuck? Come on. They, the, also, the the Office isn't fully on on there either because Netflix still owns the Office until next year. So. Oh. Their loophole, which is kind of cool and kind of stupid, is they have like a live TV section where you can watch like t live TV episodes yeah. that like stream uh, 24 7. Few channels, yeah. And there's an office channel that the, their loophole to get through of playing full episodes is they just have like funny clips. They'll have like, it's like a turns in, turns into like a clip show where it's like oh. into the office's best pranks and just like, 30 minutes of all the funny pranks that Jim did or whatever. Yeah, but I could also get that on YouTube. You, I mean, you could. But, <laughs> um, but Josh is like, oh. <laughs> they have a whole Latino section. Oh, I was actually surprised by that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking at that. So you could see Shrek in full Spanish. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's uh there's telenovelas. Uh, um there I is some Mio. really <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I was scrolling through it. I was like, "Wow, this is a pretty big category here." Um I think I saw a couple Jurassic Parks in Spanish too. Uh, the, do the dinosaurs <laughs> roar in Spanish? Like Bro, el you, or, el <laughs> <laughs> you know I was going there. They have, I guess we'll get into it right now, they have one show that they've created that is like their flagship show. Yes. Which is Brave New World. Yes. Which oh, is, oh, Jesus, it's... Um, <laughs> You're watching it right now. They have like the 1955 Olympics or something on here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. If you want to know who won, you could go ahead and watch it. <laughs> on NBC, the Peacock app. Um yeah, but yeah, they have, so Brave New World is their big, their big get to try to get people to subscribe, which yeah. they do this tricky little thing with by, you can you sign up for Peacock for free and you can get The Office for free, you get Parks and Rec for free, you get a lot of movies for free, Jurassic Park, Matrix, a lot of stuff for free, and then you get the first two episodes of Brave New World for free. Yes. Then. They fucking end the second episode in this way. It's almost, <laughs> I mean, they for sure did it on purpose, but it ends so abruptly in the middle of like some serious shit that you're like, okay, here's five bucks. Give me the rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
you fucking dicks. That's exactly it. Like you, yeah, at the end of the second episode, you're like, fuck, I didn't want you to get me and you got me. Not only did we both subscribe, but we subscribed and there's still ads. It's well, not like can, we're going ad free now. You have to subscribe for a higher tier for ad free. Really? Yeah, five bucks is with ads, and I think seven bucks is ad free. Oh, God. This is New London. For a couple of hours. Everyone's happy here. Yeah. Everyone has a place, there's no hunger, no violence. Brave New World is um, based on a book, and surprise, surprise, I have not read it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a book, you say? <laughs> have you heard about these fucking things? I'm, I'm going to say I, too, have not read it. <laughs> if it doesn't have pictures and people with superpowers, I haven't read it. <laughs> That's the fucking point. <laughs> Um, yeah, but it's it's based on this very famous book from the fucking 30s. <laughs> what the? F like, did they, <laughs> they were writing with quills back then still? Yeah, That's this, crazy. Seriously. Is it candlelight? You know? <laughs> How the fuck? Is Ben Franklin <laughs> drafting this shit? <laughs> but, um, we got Hamilton in a rap battle. Ben Franklin's <laughs> writing it all down. <laughs> This whole show is, I mean, we're only going to talk about the first two episodes yeah. because that's the free shit. And honestly, yeah. I haven't finished it yet. So um, what I've read online from people who have watched the show is they fucking hate the show because it's not anything close to the book. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, coming at this, I'm coming at this as a person who hasn't read the book. And I know it's 100 years old, but I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to read this fucking book. Okay. Listen, I don't read good, okay? <laughs> but it's all about this futuristic society who are just fucking, everyone's on fucking quaaludes. Everyone's on fucking antidepressants. <laughs> it's a society of people who are just popping pills. Anytime they feel any sort of emotion, they immediately pop a pill to try to, uh, like, smash the shit down. You feel yeah. anger, pop a pill. You feel sad, pop a pill. It's kind of, you know, to the times here, people are just fuck. Everyone's on fucking antidepressants and shit. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. And so they have this whole like perfect society where no one is allowed to be in a relationship, a long term relationship, no family, and no privacy. Everyone has like a camera in their fucking eye where they're just everyone's watching fucking everyone. Everyone's fucking everyone, and there's yeah. no kids allowed. And then there's this world like amusement park of us like normies who, yeah yeah the savage people who like still fuck and make kids and like feel rage and stuff and they're like wow this is so disgusting look at them feeling emotions and fucking each other <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly i love the way they called it the savage land <laughs> yeah this is like, the this savage is just america land. bitch <laughs> exactly welcome to america give me my bear <laughs> Um, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't believe that there's a there's a part in the first episode where uh, a character is actually getting in trouble because she's fucking the same person multiple times. They're like, yeah. seriously, do we need to have a talk? Do you need to sit down? Fuck there are people. There are a lot of other people out there. OK, I know I've that you noticed you fucking the same person. And he, <laughs> okay? even, he even tells you, said, you know how selfish that is that you're only fucking one person. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? And then at that point, you looked over at your wife. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking slapped you so hard. I you know, but <laughs> and you're just, like, honey, I've been trying to tell you this for years. You know, the thing is, that exact fucking thing did happen. <laughs> I put the show on. I'm like, it's this cool new sci-fi show with the guy who played Young Han Solo. And then immediately that, that happens. And I'm just like, uh oh uh -oh, what did I do here? And then not only not only that, but also this this show has so many orgies in it. A oh, lot of orgies. Yeah, so many orgies. I think in the first three episodes, there's probably four or five orgies. They're just fucking. <laughs> they're just fucking in piles. That's this show. So, 
I'm guessing quote. the person that wrote this book in the 1930s or whatever you said. They were repressed. He was fucking horny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I haven't got laid in so long. I'm going to write about orgies. I'm going to write about fucking so many other people. You know, I'm sitting over here watching this show and I'm like, I'm like the bachelor compared to us. And I'm sitting there going, mm, you know what? I don't think I'm fucking enough people. <laughs> you think someone would give you a rose? That's okay. Wow. The I mean, it's funny because the flip side, this whole society, they're all fucking each other in piles, just pile fucking and pile fucking, <laughs> all orgies and fucking everywhere. And then this 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 couple goes to the savage lands on their like uh fucking field trip or whatever. And, like, the hottest fucking dirty talk they can say to each other is how they're not going to fuck each other until they get married. And they fucking, they almost both jizz their pants talking about not fucking <laughs> until they're married. I'm like, what the, what kind of world is it? These, these people are on so many drugs and are fucking oh, yeah. so much that the hottest thing they can think of is to just take a fucking break and not fuck <laughs> for a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> Like, all I do, listen, all I do is fuck. Why don't we just talk about it for a little bit, and then we'll talk about not doing it, and then I'll be like, oh, my God. <laughs> if I talk to a girl about not fucking me, I mean, that that's that's just normal talk, that's just, actually. Yeah, that's, that's, the way, that's the way things go, actually. I'm like, so, uh, hey, well, huh? And then it's just like, no. <laughs> You just go, hey, what do you think about not fucking me? And then she goes, sure, sounds good. You go, whoa, okay. No way, that's supposed to turn you on. I just, I just saw this show. It's done well enough that I fucking subscribe to f try to finish it. So yeah, hats yeah. off to them. And I know maybe it's not close to the book, but for what it's worth, I'm on episode five, and I kind of enjoy it. I'm, I'm kind of into it. I like Alden Ehrenreich, the guy that played Young Han Solo. He's the main character. I like him a lot. He's got like a a Star Lord vibe to him, where he has this uh, like MP3 player that he's playing classic hits because music doesn't exist anymore. So he's playing like oldies yeah. and he's found of fucking dirt and shit. I mean, I definitely felt like the first episode was kind of a, like a really slow burn, um, but at the same time, it was sprinkled in with scenes like about them like not fucking each other right and they're getting so turned on about it the whole time i was going this is nbc this is nbc i know Are you sure like well, it's not nbc it's peacock okay. oh yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> they <laughs> they're putting a cock in peacock i guess for a streaming service called peacock surprisingly no cocks i've seen zero cocks in the show <laughs> a lot of tits a lot of tits a lot no. of ass yeah. No cocks, though. No cocks. Kind of a bummer. The show hooked me, for sure, but I mean, like, I think I'm going to be one of those people where I still subscribe to Disney Plus because I still really like the content that's on there and have not, you know, finished all that content. That, and whenever yeah. I want to watch a Disney movie, it's, like, right there to go, right? Yeah. But... There's never been a chance where I've been sitting there going, you know, I really want to watch an NBC show, like, super bad right now. So I, I don't think that I'm going to be keeping up with this membership for sure. But I mean, like, hey, I guess they, they got my five bucks right off the bat. Well, it's, a, it's free for a week. So if you can subscribe for the five buck plan and finish this in a week, you don't get charged at all. And then well, you just... There you go. There's the there's a the huge upside. And I mean, for it having the free version, I'm like, what's what's to lose here? Might as well sign up for the fucking free version. If you have to watch the Matrix with commercials in the in the middle, I mean, it's fucking free. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, yeah. If people are like, I don't like commercials. Like, but you're watching the Matrix for free. You know, right. it's got commercials. It's free though. Uh, but I have to not watch the Matrix for 45 seconds. <laughs> but it's free though <laughs> yeah exactly i mean go up and get up and get yourself some nachos or something use yeah. the restroom you can take a like a little commercial break it's cool yeah. scratch your it balls is cool. smell it and fucking just wait 
Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. People are so fucking just, they have to, I need it right now, right fucking now. Like, okay. Just, I, I would give the first two episodes of Brave New World, I give it a, I mean, I give it a bust. Really? I, I really enjoyed it. And I really like, I like the show a lot. And I, it's, maybe I like it because it's not like the book. Maybe the book is like <laughs> super fucking like intellectual or something. And I just like, I read that this book was kind of the inspiration for Westworld. So uh, if you like Westworld, you'll kind of like this show. It's got the, kind of the same idea of the Savage Lands are like Westworld and the 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 normal, the future New London yeah. is the rest of the world. Yeah, I would give this show a drunk um i you know like the first episode i was sitting there going like i don't know where this is going this is like i i get what they're trying to do here but there were some at, at the same time i felt like the episode started off where like <clears throat> we just want to shock the hell out of you and show like titties and ass and people fucking and, blah, 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 blah. and by the way this is nbc and you're <laughs> like what and there, there's some shock value in that right but Otherwise, you know, I didn't really get into it until the second episode. It, I give him credit. It did hook me, but I'd probably give it a drunk. Something necessary. If you're not happy, you're nothing at all. Um, cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm. As always, if you enjoyed this discussion and you want to see more, subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. And in the meantime, share this with your friends. Share this with your family members. Share this with anyone who enjoys cock. <laughs> because we are here speaking for you, the people. And so, don't forget to like and follow us on Instagram.